Right, morning guys, um, welcome back to the van. Uh, so today I'm currently in the process of making um, this bench seat. Uh, so I did start it yesterday, I filmed some. Uh, so basically I've just made up this simple frame out of uh, the usual 34 by 34 mil batten. Um, and I'm just about to, uh, yeah, and then it's just screwed together. So it's really, really simple. I filmed a bit, I'll, I'll drop this in now, but yeah, it's, it's very much like how I framed out the kitchen. And then I'm just going to go and cut some uh, ply for the top. And what I'm thinking is basically under here, you'll see in the footage from yesterday, there's a litter tray floating around. Uh, this is going to be our um, for the cat. We've got a cat, so she's going to need somewhere to do her business. And the, we have to keep it away from the dog because the dog will eat the cat's business. So, yeah, that's going to be in there. And I'll make a little hole for her to get through that's big enough for her but the dog can't fit his head through, which is going to be a challenge because she is a bit of a fat cat. Um, so yeah, I thought when I originally built, I thought I'd have enough room for her litter tray under there and then some sort of like drawer or hatch on top. But um, I measured the cat yesterday. Which was a challenge in itself. And it turns out she's a big cat, so that's how much space she needs. And then at this end, this is going to house our toilet. Um, and for now, I was going to, well, I am at some point going to build a composting toilet. Um, but one, I don't have the stuff here to build that. And two, I think now our plans have changed. We're probably not going to be, you know, long term off grid uh, to start with. So for now, I'm probably just going to buy a portal which will go under there. And that leaves me with a little bit of space left here in this section. So what I'm going to do is where I'm going to put a flip out, a fold out part of the bench instead of hinge so that the litter tray can be got to. Instead of hinging it here, I'll hinge it here so this section can be lifted up and you can get into this section and the cat's litter tray. We're still in lockdown. If you're watching this in the, you know, in the future and it doesn't make sense, we are still in uh, lockdown. So we're currently allowed out once a day for exercise and that's about it. So it's been a couple of weeks now and I'm seriously starting to worry about Emily's state of mind. I moved in. I'll be on TikTok in the time. <laughs> So what I've done is I've given a, I'm going to surround this with pallet wood. So I've given her all the pallet wood to sand down and to um, oil up because that will maybe keep her busy for a little while. All of them. How many more have I got to go? I've got even half fine. Well, oh, it's boring now, isn't it?
so I'm going to crack on and get the, the panels cut for the top. Right, now if you're gonna do this like I am with these stupid butt hinges, when you measure for your length, you'll need to account for that part of the, the hinge. So what I'm gonna do is get it set and then measure from there. Um, so I have a problem that the screws I'm using, the heads are too sm I need to use short enough screws so they don't come through this board, but the heads are too small that they just pull straight through there. So I need to go and either find some short, dumpy screws with big heads or some washers. So I'm going to see what we've got in the shed. Now I found some washers, which I think will work. Now again, I know this isn't perfect and there's much better hinges that I could be using, but I'm just trying to use what we've got rather than getting new. So I think they will do it just fine. Right, so what I need to do now is I need to go and cut like a, a whole thing in this to make like a, a handle. Well, I'm not Thank now. You. Well, I'll put a fire on for you. I'll pass you the plug. 
freezing. Fun of joy <laughs> all the time. Right, you go in, I'll pass the blood through. Go in where? In the house. Oh, don't worry about it. It's all too much. Oh, for sake. You shut the door, it's fine. Oh, he's an half whinge. Wow, just want a bit of lunch. <laughs> you can't have one stopping you from having lunch. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> Been stuck in a house with you 24 7. Uh, it was a big week. Are you recording? No. <laughs> <laughs> So the problem I've got is I'm running out of pallet wood. So what I was going to do is put all these on, draw out the, the hole for the cat, then take them off and cut it out. But I need, I need those for the front. So, I've got three full length ones left. And then I've got these off cuts, which I should be able to use. Okay, so this is this side uh, all done, um, and that's the cat's entrance to a litter box. Um, I'll quickly show you some stuff I forgot to mention. Uh, so with this panel, the one that hinges open, what I've done is I've cut it just a little bit short so that it's got plenty of clearance uh, when shutting. It doesn't catch on the the pallet wood because the pallet wood sits up to the same level as it. Um, and then I've also added. Um, couple of these these little catch type things and there's one on each side and that's just gonna hold it closed otherwise when we're driving that will flap around but that's quite solid there now so that's that right now for the door um i've made up the panel i need to obviously cut it to size but um i've completely run out of hinges like i've got nothing left so uh, what i'm gonna do for now is i'm just gonna uh put four holding screws in it just to I'm going to cut it to shape and put four holding screws to keep it in place uh, just so it looks tidy and then what I'm probably going to do is rather than hinge it I'll probably make it so it slides out um, the reason being it's easier to hinge from this side but I don't want the door opening this way because I want to be able to basically slide it out pull the toilet out and then take it out of the van this way rather than doing it from the inside and, and carrying it around because if we do go down the composting toilet route I want to be able to get it out from the outside of the van rather than the inside um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do do that now, get that done, and then at least it looks all right until I can source some either some hinges or make a slide out. I can't make the runners yet until I know what the size the toilet is, and I don't have the toilet. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, because it's going to be a door, whether it is hinged or slide out, I need to make sure that I've got some clearance underneath it. Um, So I'm just going to go and run the saw along there and whip that off.
Um, so the screws I've used to hold all this together, they're called um, lost tight screws, or sunken screws, hidden screws. Uh, they're just like a like a normal screw, um, but they've got a tiny little head with this like a a starkey bit on the top. And they just it's the same as what I've used for the cladding. They just I think they look all right in the pallet wood because pallet would usually be nailed onto it, whatever it's on, so they kind of look all right. Um, so yeah, I'll link them in the the, the video description. So it's not for people, it's for the uh, for the dog. I don't know if I've explained before. Um, basically, our dog is a, a spoilt brat and he likes to be up on something uh, rather than sleeping on the floor. And also, for, it kind of makes sense. So let me. Sh we've got a lot of floor space left and I've done it deliberately because when you've got a dog, I mean, he's not a massive dog, but he's not a small dog either. I don't want him to have just one tiny little spot in the van and then he's kind of stuck there. I want him to be able to have room to like walk around, play with his toys. Um, he can hang out by the door if he's soaking wet, like if we've been out for a walk and dry off over there before he comes up here. Um, and also I get up really early and sometimes go off um, shooting wildlife photography and that requires me to be up and out sometimes at like half three, four o'clock in the morning. If the dog is there on the floor, then for me to get out of bed and shimmy around him and whatnot, it just, it's noisy and it's just pointless. So we've done this on purpose so that he's got the space to, um, to be up here and then you can still walk around and use the van, make a cup of tea, sit up that end and whatnot. Uh, so I'll show you what floor space we've got left. So yeah, you've still got, so I'm now in the cabin, you've still got all that space by the, pa uh, by the sliding door. And then that channel we've got left down the middle, instead of being uh, like a skinny narrow channel that you get in the factory built ones, there's actually room there for two people to pass each other or for a person and a dog to pass each other. Um, and to be honest, this is the entire reason that we went for a, a self build in the first place with our first van. Um, we used to have two dogs, both of which are a bit were big. Um, sadly one passed away uh, but we needed the floor space and all the the factory bought vans they just don't have uh, the space so that is why we built our own in the first place and that's led us to this second van because um, once you've built one I think you kind of that's just what you do isn't it so done as you requested. This is AJ's bed. And my seat. Okay, so that's pretty much it done. Um, I've had to wait, we've had to wait a couple of days for Emily to sort out the uh, I've been busy. The upholstery because um, in quarantine what's happened is um, <laughs> she's developed an unhealthy addiction to TikTok. <laughs> so, <laughs> so unfortunately oh. Uh, you started the upholstery what three days ago yeah did like two panels and then yeah tiktok just took over um it's not something we'd normally be into but because we're bored um and we're at home we found it quite entertaining yeah and, and frustrating and it's good for your fitness as well it's kept mm -hmm. us it's kept us quite fit because they're yeah. quite what's it but yeah um so as usual guys thank you very much for watching um and thank you for everyone who subscribed we've got oh. over a thousand subscribers now sorry what we're gonna bring aj in Oh, you want to see if AJ fits? Yeah. Okay, go and get AJ. She's going to go and get the dog, see if he fits. AJ is his name. Yeah. Not everyone knows who AJ, they might think it's like your child. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to put the child in the pot. <laughs> um, come on in, come in, good boy. Come on in, come on in. Oh, good boy. Come on in. Yay, good boy. Sit, sit down in. Good boy. Oh, it's got loads of space. That's it. Now, if you lay down, he's going to be right next to your head. I know, that's good, isn't it? That's what you wanted. See, I won't. You can get in there. Oh. Is it your ass that's stopping you? <laughs> <laughs> can you get your head in? No, don't close it on me. <laughs> 
Let me just see if we can get it closed. I won't close it. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is my bed. <laughs> so if I put a padlock on there, sorted. <laughs> you all right in there? Oh, yeah, it's really comfy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Found a better one anyway, across my legs and it fits in better. How did you try and get in first? By just like snapping them? <laughs> no, by twisting them like that, but if I cross them, there. Okay, can you get out or not? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice, is it? Again, it's just my butt. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I could join the circus. Please, <laughs> please join the circus. <laughs> So yeah, thanks, 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 guys for watching. Um, and like I said, we've got over a thousand subscribers now, so that yeah, I know it means a lot, doesn't it? Yes, it so, does. Just our piddly little van conversion. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're going to do a cost video, so that'll be next week. Um, and well, if Emily gets oh look, off, my legs reach. If Emily gets <laughs> off TikTok for five minutes, yeah, your legs do reach. <laughs> reach? Do they reach? <laughs> Only to there. Look, <laughs> <laughs> not like your long legs. Look. Um, so yeah, we'll um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.